video especially for uh, those guys those who are drone owners in US uh, you know that there are laws right now and I'm facing this uh, question I know in my job at, at my job place and also outside whenever I'm flying my drone uh, People are asking that do you need to register your drone? How much it costs and all that stuff? Where should I go? Which website should I click in? Well, uh, there's a lot of situation right now. So any drone uh, that is above 0 0.55 pounds You need to register the drone with FA.gov uh, yes, uh, there are drones like DJI Tello. You do not need to register because they do not fly more than 10 meters in height. But for anything else, even for small drones like Wingsland S6, then you have DJI Spark, you know, like all of those drones need to be registered right now to FA.gov. Now, uh, see, this is the thing. This is the whole problem. For example, now I say to you FA.gov, right? You're going to a retail store and you are just, they said that just go to FA right so i'm just writing the fa now let's see what this uh, comes up okay so faa.gov right so i click out here and you go like so okay i'm in the this thing so where should i click what should i do uh well uh, there is another website for this so you get out of this because you got confused uh then i'm going out here you're yeah, like okay so where are this drone registration now you might think that maybe drone registration is a good idea right so now let's go and check what we do with uh what we what happens when we like type in drone registration now see all of these these are all ads so for example if you want to do this one federal drone registration.com this is not a government website not at all a government website this website will uh is a third party that will uh, you know like guide you through all the tests and everything and they will charge you 40 45 uh, you know like uh, kind of dollars for this one for a registration if i am not wrong you know like it's not around even above 20 10 dollars you know like the whole stuff is only five bucks so this is what you guys need to do you guys need to go to your uh, address bar and type in www.faa drone zone dot faa.gov that is the that is the address faa drone zone f dot faa.gov now when you go into this uh website uh give me a moment my uh, freaking wi-fi is like slow yeah so now when you this is the actual government website okay so for example you want to register your stuff it's very easy uh you will be flying uh you know like uh uh, so you are not going to register as part of, you know, like under section 336 or anything. Uh, you just go out here and register your drone. So I have already registered my drone, but uh, this is how it looks. But they will send you a verification email. The government wants to make sure that it is not a fake account. I was just trying to show you something. Well, otherwise, I will log into my account uh, and I will show you how it looks. OK, so you have to agree to all of these system notices and everything. You log into your account and uh, let me log in. So once I logged in, you will see that this is how it looks like. So for example, if I go to manage SUS inventory, you will see my Spark is already active and you just click on add US. Now you select what is your US type. So for example, you purchased it or anything. So you click purchase, you select your manufacturer. For example, uh, you, have, you bought a Mavic maybe. So all right, DJI because you bought a DJI. So uh, DJI and then you write down the serial number. The serial number is usually located on. So when you pop the battery out of your Spark or Mavic, it's located underneath. You put your nickname how you want to na uh, name the drone as and the model number for example spark or anything uh, or mavic or anything and that's it you just add the us they you pay five bucks and that's it you're done that's your whole drone registration in for five bucks so you just go to home you just uh, click out here so make sure you're following the rules or anything out here so you read through everything for five dollars you register your drone for flying as a recreational purpose for commercial 
it's a total different scenario if you are making YouTube videos, if you're getting money out of YouTube videos, that's where you need to uh, go through the whole uh, exam and everything. Uh, because there's a whole exam that you need to take in US uh, if you want to be a commercial drone pilot. Uh, the, I think it's $150 and uh, again you can pass that exam without even going to uh, you know like any sort of school or anything there is a lot of scams going on out here I just want you guys to buy the drone register the drone at fadronezone.fa.gov that is the official government website it is only five bucks nothing more than five bucks you do not need to spend anything more than five bucks Thank you. If you think that this tip was helpful, if you think that uh, uh, my information was correct, you can hit the like and subscribe button and you can also leave comments which I will follow up later on and I will give you all the information about uh, my drone and I did register my drone, uh, Spark drone before I tried to fly it. Uh, okay, so that's it and uh, thank you guys. Thank you for uh, listening and uh, looking into this channel. Thank you.